एक्वाटिक हैबिटेट धरती से होम फॉर ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिजम्स लिव इन डिफरेंट प्लेसेस सराउंडिंग इन विच एन ऑर्गेनिजम लिव इस कॉल्ड इट्स हैबिटेट मेनी ऑर्गेनिजम लिव इन वाटर मोर स्पेसिफिकली इन पॉन्ड लेक रिवर ओशन एंड अदर वाटर बॉडीज We say that these organisms live in aquatic habitat. Do not get confused with the term aqua. It means water. Let's learn about some of the aquatic habitat on Earth. Oceans. Oceans are the place of living for many animals. Most of the ocean animals have gills or similar structure. it help them to breathe in water to survive in any habitat the body parts of organism get modified over the period of time this called adaptation some animals such as dolphins and whales do not have gills but for breathing they have nostrils or blow holes located on their upper body parts they come to the surface of water for obtaining oxygen they store the oxygen as much as can and then tap deep in the sea they use stored oxygen for long time for swimming fish use its flat fins and tails they have slippery scales on their body which helps in easy movement to see around they have transparent eyelids they also have a body which tapers towards both ends we can call such body as streamlined body it helps them to swim faster animals like squid and octopus do not have such streamlined body they live in deep sea but when they have movement they make their body shape streamlined animals feed on the plants or smaller animals speaking about plants they are located at shallow depths it's because sunlight can reach only up to certain distance below the surface of ocean they have ability to absorb carbon dioxide dissolved in water and prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis land water basically exists in ponds lakes rivers and etc the depth of these structures is very small as compared to ocean it allows sunlight to reach at bottom it makes it possible for some plants to grow at the bottom of the water bodies some of them have upper body floating on the water while other are completely submerged that is they are under water they are some other plants which are not rooted in the soil instead these are floating on water roots help the plants to obtain water minerals and nutrients but more than that they perform an important function of holding the plant at a place generally size of the root is small the upper part of even supported with long tube like stem leaves have large air space and waxy layer at their bottom which helps them to float on a surface of water leaves are often divided into ribbon like structure it allows water to flow through them so that the fast flowing water does not damage the leaves we can see wide varieties of animal in these water bodies 
they are adapted to live such habitat animals like frog and duck use webbed toes for swimming the feathers of duck are waxy due to which this does not get wet frog have triangular head to swim easily they can store large amount of air or oxygen to stay longer in water i hope understand this topic very well thanks for watching